All right, how's everybody doing out there in Math Magic Land? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you, and in today's lesson, we're going to take a look at finding coterminal angles using radians. And if you haven't seen it, be sure you look at the other video that I made on finding coterminal angles using degrees. Now, first, we've got to figure out what coterminal angles are. We've got to define them. So, Coterminal angles, the way I think about them, they're just angles that have the same location. They're angles that have the same initial side and the same terminal side. So when we take a look at this, one of the things we're going to have to be able to do is we can move around in one of two different directions. Now if we're going to move in a positive direction, we would start here on the x-axis and we would move counterclockwise this way. But say I wanted to keep going around, yep, and then we could come up, and we'd still end up at that same location. Or we could come around again and end up here. Or we could come around again and end up there. You get the idea. So that is if we moved in a positive direction. But likewise, we could also move in a negative direction. So we could start here on our x-axis on the initial side, and we could move around this way, stop there, oops, or we could keep going, or we could keep going and going further and further down the rabbit hole. All right, but you get the idea. So depending on the direction we move, we can end up at the same location, whether we move in a positive direction or in a negative direction. Now, one thing in this section, because we're dealing with radians, everybody's pretty well aware that one revolution is 360 degrees, which is the same thing as 2 pi. But a lot of times in a pre-calculus course or a trig course, you'll see problems that will have a denominator of, say, maybe 3. So what I've got to do is I've got to be able to think to myself, 2 pi is the same thing as what number over 3? So what you basically do is take the denominator, and you multiply it by 2. So 3 times 2, woo, 6. So 2 pi is the same thing as 6 pi over 3. Because if you reduce that, you get 2 pi. But say I had a 4 in the denominator. All right, well, what's 4 times 2? Yeah, rocket science, here we go. We've got 8. So we'd have 8 pi over 4 in the denominator. And then what if we had 6 in the denominator? Well, I think you get the idea now. 6 times 2 is 12. So we'd have 12 pi. So instead of just adding 360 degrees, sometimes you're going to have to add or maybe subtract 6 pi over 3 or 8 pi over 4 or 12 pi over 6, depending upon the fraction you may be given to work with. So you're going to have to be able to do that for these types of problems. Let's just do one more just for giggles here. Say you had 15 in the denominator. Woo -woo. Yeah, you know what that numerator would be, don't you? it would be 30 pi. So you'd have to add or subtract 30 pi to whatever angle it was that you were given. All right, so let's go ahead and practice an example here. So we're going to find positive and negative angles that are coterminal to pi over 6. So let's go over this again. Pi over 6. So if I'm at pi over 6, then 2 pi is going to be the same thing as what number over 6? Yep, you know it. That's 12 pi's over 6. So in order to get that, we're going to have to simply add 12 pi's over 6. So if I have pi over 6 plus 12 pi's over 6, here comes the hard part. That would be 13 pi's over 6. Woo -woo, yeah, but wait, we're not done. We want more. So if we started with 13 pi's over 6, and we added another 2 pi, or since we're dealing with a denominator of 6, 12 pi's over 6, then we get an angle of 25 pi's over 6. And if we went one more time around, we would have 25 pi's over 6 plus another 12 pi over 6, which gives us a grand total of 37 pi's over 6. So all three of those angles. 13 pi over 6, 25 pi over 6, and 37 pi over 6 are all coterminal angles with pi over 6. But wait, say I wanted to go in a negative direction. So if I started out with pi over 6 to start with, then I would just subtract 12 pi over 6. And when you do that, you end up with negative 11 pi's over 6. 
But wait, we're not done. We're going to keep going here a little bit. So if you had 11 pi over 6 and you went around one more time, subtracting 12 pi's over 6 again, this time you would end up with negative 23 pi's over 6. And we'll do one more. So if you had negative 23 pi over 6 minus 12 pi's over 6, you would end up with negative 35 pi's over 6. Now there is a slight pattern here, and I won't get into it too much, but check out the difference between 13 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. If you ignore the negative sign, what number is in between 13 and 11? Hmm, 12. Giddy up. What number is between 25 and 23? Hmm, 24. What number is between 37 and 35? Yep, you know it. That's 36. So more on that in a minute. Now what we got to realize here is that the difference between any two coterminal angles is always going to be a multiple of 2 pi. Now, that could be plus or minus 2 pi, but that could be plus or minus 4 pi, or plus or minus 6 pi, or even plus or minus 8 pi, etc. You get the idea. So let's go back to those answers that we had previously. We had all of these components here, 13 pi over 6, 25 pi over 6, 37 pi over 6, negative 11 pi over 6, etc, etc. So if we were to subtract any two of those, we would get some multiple of 2 pi. So if we did, we'll just start with the first one, 13 pi over 6. If we subtracted, say, 25 pi over 6, we end up with negative 12 pi over 6, which when I reduce that is negative 2 pi, which is a multiple of 2 pi. Or say we took another one. Say we took our negative 11 pi's over 6, and we subtracted, say, 37 pi's over 6. We took those two angles, and we found their difference to be negative 48 pi's over 6, which when we reduce it is just another multiple of 2 pi. In this case, it's negative 8 pi. Or we could do, say, 25 pi over 6, and we could subtract negative 11 pi's over 6. When we subtract that, and be careful here, watch your signs, you end up with 36 pi over 6, which is just 6 pi. So all of these are multiples of 2 pi, which tells you that all of these angles 13 pi over 6, 25 pi over 6, 37 pi over 6, negative 11 pi over 6, negative 23 pi over 6, negative 35 over, over 6. Ooh, and we forgot the one we started out with, just pi over 6. All of those angles are all coterminal angles. Pretty cool stuff, as long as you can add and subtract. A problem that you'll see very often in your trig book. It'll say find two positive angles and two negative angles that are coterminal with 21 pi over 4. All right, no big deal. Since we've got 4 on the bottom, 2 pi is going to be the same thing as 8 pi's over 4. So we're going to have to add and subtract 8 pi's over 4. So, all right, here we go. So if we have 21 pi over 4, and we add to that 8 pi's over 4, we end up with a grand total of 29 pi's over 4. So that's one coterminal angle that is definitely positive. And if we add another 8 pi over 4 to that, positive coterminal angle to 21 pi over 4 would be 37 pi over 4. So I found two positive ones. Now let's get after two negative ones. Pi over 4, pi's over 4. If we do that, we end up with 21 minus 8 is 13 pi's over 4. But wait, that's positive. So that's another positive coterminal angle, but it's not a negative coterminal angle. So sometimes you might have to keep subtracting until you get to one that is negative. So, all right, so we're at 13 pi's over 4, and we subtract our 8 pi's over 4, but again, when we do that subtraction, now we'll still be at positive 5 pi over 4. So all these angles that I've come up with so far, they're all positive coterminal angles. So that's not helping me, but eventually we'll get to some negative angles. So 5 pi over 4 minus 8 pi's over 4, and lo and behold, we finally get a negative one, so we would have negative 3 pi's over 4.
But wait, we need to find 2, so we'll just start right there from negative 3 pi's over 4, then we'll subtract 8 pi's over 4, and then, holy moly, we are done now. We get negative 11 pi's over 4, and we are finished. So two positive coterminal angles, I got a whole bunch I could choose from. All right, I could choose the 29 pi over 4, the 37 pi over 4, or you could even go with the 13 pi over 4 or 5 pi over 4. Any of those four would work for positive coterminal angles. But when I go to my negative coterminal angles, the first two that I came up with were negative 3 pi over 4 and negative 11 pi over 4. You know, you're able to find positive and negative coterminal angles anytime you're given an angle in radians. So thanks for watching today, boys and girls. You guys have a great day, and I'll catch up with you soon. Peace out.